Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video presentation, I'm going to go over one of the new features in the tools, specifically around the money calendar, and this is going to be on the money clock. You'll see after you click on the money calendar icon, we have a few new items to choose from across the top. Money calendar trader, disregard that as we have that coming out later in the year. Right now we have money clock, and later I'll do a money holidays video. Right now when you click on money clock, and let me minimize the screen to bring the information better into view. You have this circular batch of information and on the outside wheel or circle here, you'll notice there are four things that it's researching. The minutes within the day, the number of display line items, so it will give you 20 search results. You can change that as well as the minutes, as well as the percentage accuracy and the number of days looked back. Now these are the defaults, 7 days look back, 65% or better accuracy, uh, minutes are 60 minutes, and in the middle information here, it's selected less than or equal to 60 minutes. So the 20 display results, or however many you select, it will show you uh, a 65% or better accuracy of a particular stock going higher or lower, whichever one you choose. And you can do that by the show line item here, long, short, or both. We're going to leave it on both. And if you want to change the display, you can click on the outside ring here. And what I'm doing is I'm just left clicking and dragging to whichever I want. You can click a couple of times in here and try to change it if you like. Uh, but for me, it's just easiest to anywhere on that uh, part of the display, just left click and drag it to the number that you want. If you change it around a bunch and you're not happy with that or you inadvertently changed it and you want to just reset it to the defaults, just left click on the money clock button there and it will reset to the defaults here for you. So again, we're looking at because of the time selection less than or equal to, you can change it to greater than or equal to if you like. 60 minutes, 20 display or line items, a look back of seven days, and an accuracy of 65% or better. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you can type in the looking for box and type in a specific symbol. And what happens is all the items that were in the list, and that was basically the pennies and weekly list or the list that we use for the money calendar. We're also using that same list for the money clock you can type in the symbol and it brings up just that one symbol for you to click on. If you want to go back and start over, just backspace out the ticker and you have the whole list again that you can scroll through and find. Now, when you click on, and I'm just going to use AAPL, click on Apple, it's going to bring up the results from the criteria of that circular grid on the previous page. And what you're looking at here is an accuracy of greater than 60%, a seven day look back, and these time intervals of these different uh, selections here are less than or equal to 60 minutes in its Eastern Standard Time and we're looking at the long sh and shorts. We're looking for bullish moves and bearish moves by accuracy. Now if you want to go to a different one, find a different one in the list, click on it and it will jump to, in this case, ADM. You want to go to another one like APOL, you click on that, or Bank of America, BAC. It's going to refresh the page and give you the results for that particular stock symbol. And how do you know which one you're on? Down here at the bottom, it's going to start next to the settings box, list all of those stocks that you've selected. If you want to take those off, just click on the X and it will go to the previous one back to just Apple. Or if you click that off, it'll go back to the default screen of the criteria search circle field and go back to your list over here. So once again, let's go ahead and go through this. We are fresh into the money clock. We want to look over a specific time zone. We can leave it Eastern Standard Time. We have for Central and Pacific. Sorry to you mountain folks. Um, we are going to look at both shorts and longs, bullish and bearish opportunities. We want to look for a time frame within the day where there's the best or most accumulation less than or equal to a 60 minute interval and we want to rank the 20 display line items by accuracy the most accurate to the least accurate in descending order once we have all that done once we have our parameters out here set like we want in fact let's just move this up to say an 80 percent accuracy what we can do is left click and drag up to 80 
go up to Apple or whichever stock that you want to choose and then left click on it. When the page populates, what we have here is the 20 line items of those that meet the criteria. So on an intraday basis, we have the percentage accuracy in the field for each particular line item. And if you hover your mouse over it, it's going to show you it's 100% accuracy. And the results are over this time frame, you're getting an average of $1.65 or a 1.65 point move in Apple. And that time frame is from uh, 2 o'clock to 2.20. You go to the next one. This is a bearish move from the time interval of uh, basically 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. But if you look here, you have a majority of bullish moves that are 100% accurate or more starting right around that 2 o'clock Eastern time frame. How long do they last? Well, that one's 25 minutes. That one's 15 minutes. That one's 30 minutes. Okay. So you can see that there is a pretty good batch of accumulation at a historical accuracy of 100% over the last seven days, starting around this two o'clock time frame, lasting 15 to 20 minutes. And again, it shows you the result of the profit move or the price move. Now, if you want to look a little bit more specific on that, just left click on one of those boxes and you should be able to bring up a, a histogram type looking bar chart. What this shows you is over the last seven days, the PL for that particular move. So this one here, the first one, let's click on that. And underneath what it will do is bring up a candle chart representation of that particular day. And you'll see the bullish move higher from that 2 to 220 time frame. You want to look at a different day back. You can click on each individual bar and it will give you that representation of a candle bar for that time frame from the start to finish that 2 to 220 time frame. Click on the X to eliminate those boxes and you can go to the next one on the list, the next bullish one on the list or whichever one you want to look at. But this is again, not so much a day trading tool that you would necessarily look to go in and buy Apple stock from that start time to end time, nor would we, you know, really tell you to go in there and look to buy a call option deep in the money to take advantage of this average dollar uh, and 60 cent move that's happened. 100% of the time over the last seven days during that time interval. What this is helping you understand though is maybe different points and times during the day. Say you have a 30 day money calendar trade that you're looking at on Apple, but on the day that you want to enter the trade, you want to say what is probably the best time of the day or when is that I'm going to get the best buy. And you can go ahead and use the money clock to ascertain that based off the data that this shows. Now, again, if you want to go back, to a different symbol with the same criteria, just find it in the list or type it in the list looking for box. Let's take a look at Microsoft, same thing. We're going to look at a greater than 80% accuracy, seven day look back, less than or equal to 60 minutes for the Eastern time zone. And we're looking for both long and shorts, bullish and bearish moves. And you have the information listed there, 20 of them to look through. And there's a 50 cent move with 100% accuracy between 2 and 235 on Microsoft. And there's the histogram bars, if you will. You can click on the bar and bring up the candlestick representation of that move over that time period. Click X to get rid of it and move on to the next one. Again, if you want to go back to the Apple, you can just click on it in the list that's down there. If you want to get rid of both of those or reset back to the circular grid of information to reset some criteria, just go back and click Money Clock and you can start all over again. Hope you found that informational, educational, and helpful. Keep an eye out for the Money Holidays video. Any questions or concerns, hit us up at support at tomgentile.com. Bye for now.